Hello, today we show you how to clean your carburetor jet for your scooter and in this video I will show you how! Well, hello and welcome to my video. Today we are going to clean the main jet and the pilot jet. Those two things are really important because uh, that's uh, where the fuel of the scooter is going through or passing by. So, those two little things, they need to be clean at all times. That's very important for the performance of your scooter. If those little jets are gummy, you know, from a long time that they are sitting in your scooter, they are dirty, or they have some corrosion, there is a big problem because the performance of your scooter is going to be a little lower. Or sometimes your scooter will not even start. Or sometimes your scooter will start and will die out as soon you turn your throttle of the scooter. So, those really two things, they're the jets, they're really important for the performance of your scooter. Now the first thing you have to do is to remove the carburetor of your scooter if you like to clean the old carburetor or sometime in your scooter you just have to slightly twist the carburetor to expose the lower bowl of the scooter to you so you can see it and you can open. Now we're going to open the carburetor of the lower bowl, that's where you're going to find the jets. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver to remove these screws. Now make sure you have the right side screwdriver, a little bigger, because uh, sometimes these screws they can, you know, get stripped because this metal is really soft. So being really soft, you might strip them or you might damage the head. So later it will be a problem to remove this screw. Okay, so just removing these screws, uh, you're going to reveal the inside of the bowl where you're going to have the float the float valve, the main jets, and the pilot jet. So, there is a lot of little things inside here. Now, when uh, you open a bowl, also check the lower part of the bowl, because uh, you really want to make sure that even the lower part of the bowl is nice and clean and there is no sediment. So, you want to make sure that everything is nice and clean. Now, right here, you're going to see the main jet and sometimes on the side you see the number of the main jet right here now inside here this hole you have the pilot jet this one right here inside now to remove the main jet right here you can place a screwdriver and is a flat head screwdriver and you can remove the main jet the top part Sometimes is uh, kind of stuck together with the lower part that will be the diffuser or the needle jet and uh, this part right here sometimes you have to grab a little, with a little key right here that is a seven millimeter you can stop this part from turning and you can remove the top part that is the main jet. Now just removing this one you know you can remove it by hand a little bit. When you see there is a loose a little bit, you can remove it by hand so it doesn't get damaged. Because these ones are made of brass and really it's kind of like soft metal and can be damaged easily with the screwdriver. Okay? So now this part right here we're going to remove it. This one is the diffuser or the needle jet. Right here on the side you're going to see a lot of holes. Sometimes the little holes, they get clogged, they get gummed, they get, you know, corrosion, and that's the problem because these parts right here, if they close up, your scooter will not really run perfectly. So, after we remove these two, we're going to remove the pilot jet that is in this little hole right here. And at one point, you're just going to gently turn this one over, and your pilot jet will be in your hand. Okay, this one is the pilot jet for the GY650cc scooter and this one right here you can see on this side there is little holes and sometimes these little holes they really get you know clogged or sometimes they get corrosion or sometimes they get gummed up from old gasoline, old fuel. Now this one they should be clean at all time so you can get the best performance. Now right here we have the main jet, we have the pilot jet and we have the diffuser or right here the needle jet. 
So those three are really running your scooter, okay? Those are really important. Now, to clean this one, you could get a little wire brush and get one of the little wire right here, just one little piece of wire, and you place it right here on it. You know, right here, you can place it. A little wire right here. So you can use this one to clean the main jet and the pilot jet gently, okay? Now, right here, you see the hole in the center. You can just go like that, put this one inside without damaging, and you can clean it little by little. You can clean the main jet, you know? You can turn a little bit. Or what you can do, you can also have a driller right here, place the main jet on the top of the driller, right here, then you close the driller, right here, you close the driller like that, with the main jet inside, here we are, the same, in the center right here, you're going to see the main jet, you can use a visor right here, right here, and you can place the little wire in the center, and at the same time you can turn right here. You can turn the jet that is inside your driller. This one is one easy way to clean this jet. Now make sure you're gentle, because these jets are really, you know, fragile, I can say. If you're, you can damage them easily. Now if you pushing too much, you can get this uh, little hole inside too large. So there will be an imbalance of uh, fuel on your scooter between fuel and air. So you really have to be gentle to don't damage and don't make the hole of the little jet wider, okay? So make sure that this uh, main jet doesn't get wider. It's very important. You know, you, you can clean them easy also with uh, a little bit of uh, a carburetor cleaner, but sometimes if they're, they, the scooter has been sitting for a long time, you need to clean them with a little driller like that and with a little piece of wire that is very thin. Don't get inside with a wire that is too large because you could damage the inside of the jet. Now, same thing you can do with a little pilot jet. You can do the same thing and you can place them inside, right here, the driller, and you can do the same thing with, the, you can do the same thing with the pilot jet. You can get it right here on a driller and gently, you can turn this one, the pilot jet, with a little piece of wire that you got it from the wire brush, right here. You know, gently take your time, not rush yourself, do not damage the pilot jet or the main jet. This is something really easy you can do with the driller, very important. Now, this one will give you a great performance with your scooter, nice and clean. Now, you also have to go on the side. If you look on the side right here of the pilot jet, there is a little holes because sometimes are clogged, okay? So you really have to go on the side and clean those little holes. Now, later, after you clean everything, little holes and everywhere on the side and on the center, what you should do, you should spray inside a little bit of the carburetor cleaner so you can clean these jets. Now, also on the inside right here, you can go inside and clean the jet from the inside. Very important from this side too, because what you really have to look them, you have to look them the inside and make sure that the light goes through here. So you can see against the light if your jet is nice and clean. So clean on the side right here, or the jet right here on the side of the body. Clean on this side right here of the pilot jet and clean on the other side. So you want to go through, okay? But be gentle. Now, same thing that you have to do with the diffuser or needle jet. That's the same thing that you have to do. 
right here on the side you're going to see a few holes on the side right here and you should go inside with a little bit of this wire so you can clean each hole very good sometimes you're gonna feel a little bit of corrosion that is inside so if that corrosion is inside that means that these jets need to be cleaned so little by little you just go inside and you poke this side right here you poke the other side and you poke the center side and you make sure that the center part is nice and clean and there is no dirt inside plus later after you're done poking and cleaning with a little wire you can spray a little bit of carburetor cleaner so this one is really important now at this point i will show you another way that you can clean your jet easily and with less damaging uh, way so a nice and little better way to clean these uh, jets okay so we show you this one right away how to do that another great way to clean your main jet and the pilot jet is to buy an electronic uh, jewelry cleaner this one will be uh, the best thing to do because this one is a less damaging way to clean your main jet and pilot jet now what you're going to do you're going to need a one cup of distilled water and you place it right here inside you place one teaspoon of oxyclean or if you like dish soap like down dish soap and you put one teaspoon of the oxyclean you mix it a little bit you a little bit so you dissolve a slightly little bit of the oxyclean just a little bit you really need half a teaspoon of the oxyclean now after that what are you going to do you're going to place the pilot jet the main jet and the diffuser you place them inside what you're just going to do you're just going to set the time to 180 180 seconds or you can place it slightly higher you can set more time if you want it all depends how you want them clean if you want it really really clean you can make more time or a little less if you really want to have a slightly less cleaner jets but it's always better to put it at five minutes that it will be 480 seconds and uh, you're going to close this one you set it and forget it and after five minutes you're going to have a spotless nice clean jet so you just close it and then you push the on button and the little ultrasonic cleaner will clean your jet with no problem i will show you how it's clean it right now Okay, right after five minutes that the jets are inside here and getting a lot of vibration from the little ultrasonic cleaner, you can remove them 
and dry them with a nice towel okay nice clean towel or a paper towel so squeeze them like that make sure there is no water inside kind of rub a little bit together so they're gonna be nice and uh, dry now let them dry outside in the air for at least five to ten minutes keep them nice and standing up so in the way they're not going to get any dirt try to slightly shake them a little bit so the water that is inside will go away now you can also blow them with a little bit of hair so you're going to take all the dirt that is inside or if you have some something dirty with a little carburetor cleaner you can go inside and spray them but they should be really clean the only thing you should remove maybe with a compressor you should remove some of the dirt that is inside from the cleaner now, now right here you have all the jets after the cleaner so I want you to inspect them and look them if they're nice and clean and they look great it's very important to have nice clean jet to have the best performance with your scooter now make sure they are dry shake them a little bit like that without damage them so it's very important now shake them a little bit and dry them now after you're done that let them sit for at least five to ten minutes in a windy place so they're going to dry hair dry after that you can place them back inside the carburetor to make sure they look great right here you have the main jet you can place it right here the main jet that's where the main jet goes you can place the pilot jet you can drop it inside right here and you can tie it but make sure do not over tie it because the brass part of the pilot jet is really soft so it's very important now the top part right here you're going to place the main jet right here on the top and make sure it looks nice and clean before you put it in after that you can start to tie the main jet and make sure you tie it but not too much because if you tie it too much at that point you might damage the main jet right here make sure you place everything back together with the carburetor make sure you're not forcing all the screws okay because uh, sometimes these screws they're really soft uh, and they get damaged very easy the lower part of the carburetor make sure you inspect the lower part inside the lower part make sure it's nice and clean before you really close the whole carburetor use your eyes your eyes are your best asset in this work okay so to have the best performance with your scooter you want to make sure that everything is nice and clean okay right after you place everything together with your carburetor you're ready to mount your carburetor back to your scooter now at this point i'd like to thank you very much for watching my video feel free to visit my youtube channel feel free to visit my tiktok and if you need any help please feel free to contact me at any time. Thank you very much for watching.